Hello candidates, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing some uh, exciting availability questions uh, that uh, have been asked in the previous year uh, papers. So, uh, we will be focusing mainly on the uh, non-RC questions of verbal ability as the RC questions have been extensively discussed in the uh, WhatsApp group for the preparation of CAT. So people who are new to the channel or who have not joined the WhatsApp group, the link is given in the description. You can join the WhatsApp group for more constructive discussions on uh, RC passages and other things. Maybe we'll discuss those things in future in uh, our videos also. For the time being, we'll be discussing the non-RC questions in verbal ability uh, and mainly focusing on the XAT exam, which is going to come up. So the first question is uh, uh, this one. I'll give you some time to uh, read the question, then we will continue the discussion. As you can see, uh, this question is basically very simple it is talking uh, it is asking you to identify some incorrect sentences and which are the incorrect sentences the correct answer option you have to select so we have to go through the sentences one by one uh, and uh, check for any uh, grammatical errors so the first one is the boss accused your employee for stealing information so obviously this is incorrect because when you use the verb accuse the always the preposition that should be used is off so the boss accused her employee of stealing information should be the correct word here it is given as for which is wrong so this is why this is an incorrect sentence this could be a, a possible option so you look at the options where one is figuring so you only have to check uh, option c and option e so option c is talking about one and two so in order to save time we will skip all the other sentences we will only check the second sentence as well as the fifth sentence so second sentence is the boss had better discuss the issue with the employee concerned so if they see the expression had better is equivalent to the expression should so uh, in other words the what the sentence is saying is that the boss should discuss the issue with the employee concerned so there is nothing wrong with the sentence because had better and should should be uh, should are uh similar phrases so uh, if you replace the had better phrase with the uh, the word should the sentence should read like this the boss should discuss the issue with the employee concern this is a correct sentence there is nothing incorrect here so you can remove option c as an answer then option e option he is good in playing the piano this is wrong because he always when you are good at something it is not in something at so it uh, the sentence should be he is good at playing the piano so this is why this sentence is wrong first sentence is wrong so option e will be the answer one and five are the incorrect sentences uh, for our discussion for the sake of other discussion we can even go through the other uh, statements the third sentence is talking about the india of 2022 is very different from the india of 1947 many of you would feel that the uh, this is an incorrect sentence because when you talk about 2022 the correct verb should be the india of 2022 was very different from the india of 1947 when you think like that it is correct but you have to remember that this is a question that was asked in the 2022 uh, cat exam so when you talk about the 2022 cat exam uh, at that time where it is a present tense so the india of 2022 is very different is uh, a correct expression when you are stating uh, this sentence in the year 2022 so this is why this is a not incorrect it is a correct sentence then option four the government is committed to providing people with food this is again correct there is uh, no inaccuracy here so these are all correct sentences so except for one and five or all, all are correct sentences so option e will be your answer now we'll move to the next question so next question is uh, para based question so uh, First, you read the question, which of the following can be best inferred? So it is talking about an inference. So when you need to find an inference, what you have to do is that read the passage very, very carefully, uh, understand the essence of the passage, then uh, go through the options, eliminate all incorrect options, which are not consistent with the facts given in the passage. Whatever remains will be your 
probable answers out of which you have to select the best answer this should be the strategy you should follow in case of inference or conclusions or assumptions or any kind of paragraph based question so i'll give you some time to read the passage properly All right, uh, so uh, put in one sentence. What would be the always try to simplify the idea into a single sentence or a very simple concept, even though the paragraph will be uh, in a long winded par paragraph giving you a lot of information. Uh, essentially, it will be talking about a simple idea. So, what is a simple idea here? When you reduce the complex paragraph into a simple idea, your understanding will be better and you will be able to remember the concept uh, when you tackle the options this is the uh, uh, strategy you should be following so here it is talking about the fundamental laws that are governing the small constituents of matter and energy when applied to the universe etc etc a lot of things are stated but once you complete reading the passage it only means that uh, uh, whatever laws are applicable to the smaller constituents of uh, the universe the, the same laws are applicable to the uh, universe as a whole or the universe whatever happens in the universe can be explained with the fundamental laws underpinning reality so the if you read the last sentence you will get the idea underpinning means supporting so here uh, whatever uh, things are happening in the universe like uh, uh, the atomic nuclei to atoms the transformation of atomic nuclei to atoms to simple molecules to complex molecules to life to intelligence to conscience and beyond all can be understood as something that emerges directly from the fundamental laws underpinning in supporting reality with no additional laws so that supporting of reality is the smallest concept where the your understanding of the fundamental laws that govern the smallest constituents so when you uh, think when you understand the basic principles of uh, uh, the constituents or the particles that compose matter and energy then you can understand whatever that happens in the universe this is the essential basic meaning of the paragraph once you understand that you can easily uh, find out the inference so uh, then we have to go through the options one by one first option is all phenomena in the universe fundamentally occur spontaneously so if you carefully look at the uh, statement you can see that all phenomena in the universe fundamentally occur spontaneously means uh, without any particular reason it means randomly or suddenly so this is not stated in the passage that all the phenomena in the universe are occurring suddenly because the passage saying that when uh, applied to the universe over long enough cosmic time scale means uh, cosmic means anything connected to the universe so where all the phenomena that happens in the universe uh, might be happening over a long period of time so uh, when it says that it is happening spontaneously or uh, suddenly this is not correct it is not uh, gelling with the passage or it is not uh, uh, it is not in tune with whatever is stated in the passage so this can be ignored then second one fundamental laws operating in the universe and in an atom are the same so this could be your answer because it says that if you understand the about the smallest constant of matter means atom so when you understand the principles that govern the atom you understand the principles that govern the universe so fundamental laws operating in the universe and in an atom are same so this could be an answer because it is a correct inference that you can get from the passage so this uh, is a likely answer keep it in your mind option c fundamental laws undergo a change from an at from atom to the universe so it says that the laws are changing when you travel from an atom to the universe it is again directly contradicting the passage passage says that fund fundamental laws are the same whether it is for an atom or for the universe so this is wrong option d everything in the universe fundamentally occurs randomly again it says that all the uh, things that are happening in the universe they are random occurrences means without any particular order or without any particular theory so this is wrong the passage says that all the things that happen in the universe they follow a particular law which is the basic law that governs the smallest constituents of matter so this also you can ignore option e all phenomena in the universe are fundamentally dependent on long cosmic tiles time scales means essentially all the phenomena in the universe are happening over long periods of time that means it is dependent on long periods of time this you might think that this is a 
a good inference but uh, the, we do not know whether all the phenomena in the universe are dependent on long time scales the passage is saying that when you uh, apply the fundamental principles uh, regarding uh, the matter and energy to uh, whatever happens in the universe over long periods of time you will be able to understand everything so whether everything in the universe is happening over long periods of time we cannot be entirely sure so this could be a uh, and even if you take it as a good inference it will not be a better inference than option b because your inference when you think about inferences your inference should be about the main idea in the passage so the main idea in the passage is not about what happens in the universe over long periods of time the main idea in the passage is only about how to understand whatever is happening in the universe over long periods of time so that understanding is based on your understanding of the uh, smallest constituents of matter and energy so even if you consider this to be a uh, good inference even um, uh, like i told you this is not uh, exactly a good inference because we uh, cannot say for sure that all the phenomena in the universe are fundamentally occurring over long periods of time but even if we accept it it will still not be a better option than option b so this is why option since our question is to find the best inference option b will be the best inference so they, uh, in all questions like this what you have to do is the follow the process of elimination uh, eliminate all the options which are not in tune or not actually matching with the facts given to you in the passage then whatever remains will be your probable answers out of which you have to select the best answer so here option b will be the best answer now going to the third question so here it is uh, as you can see from the uh, question itself it is a uh, para jumbled question so i'll give you some time to read the statements then we will continue the discussion see the word singularity in the first statement the capital s is used so singularity means something that is very unique so here when uh, you uh, use a capital letter to uh, a noun it means that it is a proper noun so the word singularity here uh, the author is implying that something that is completely unique something that has never happened because so it is not just the uh, the literal meaning of unique it is something that is completely unique so it is talking about something the uh, some particular thing which is, the author considers to be unique so that is why he is, has used the capital letter s in this word singularity singularity literally means something that is unique or singular means something which has got no comparison so here in this since the capital word s is used it means uh, a particular thing which is unique so by reading all the sentences you can understand that the author has been trying to understand the meaning of uh, whatever uh, changes that are happening in the uh, world at many levels and uh, gradually he became aware of a uh, an event a transforming event means changing event so something that is looming looming means something that is about to happen in the first half of the century so that means something uh, some transforming event or some changing event that is was about to happen in the first half of the 20th century means between the uh, years 2000 and 2050 so that is what he is talking about then he said that it is uh, a progressive awakening then he is talking about uh, what the singularity is doing so the first sentence and the last sentence are talking about the uh, what is that particular singularity and what it is doing so he, uh, first sentence says that he was not aware of what this singularity uh, or when he was not aware, uh, he uh, could not remember when he became first aware of the singularity and the last sentence is talking about what the singularity uh, is uh, doing to transform the uh, uh, things at various levels which is what he has been discussing in the second sentence now once we understand the things now how to arrange it so here uh, you have to uh, go through the options uh, very minutely because this is not an easy task uh, first what you have to say 
here on option 4 he says that i'd have to say it was a progressive awakening so what is this pronoun it it means it is talking he is the previous sentence he is talking about a, the awareness of a transforming event looming in the first half of the uh, 21st century and he's, then he says that it, it was a progressive awakening so uh, this it could refer to the uh, his awareness of the transforming event so 3 and 4 could be a sentence pair because three says that gradually he was talking he was thinking about what are how what are how these changes are what is the meaning and purpose of the continuous change that is happening in the world and then he became aware of a transforming event then he said that it is a progressive awakening so you can say that two three and four are a sequence so here we have not yet reached with the singularity part because still he does not know whether it is a singularity or something he knows that some transforming event or some changing event is going to cause all the changes that are going to happen in the world so he has not yet arrived at the singularity part so two three four we can uh, say it is a sequence then uh, i'm not sure when i first became aware of the singularity so uh, then he it could mean that he uh, found out that this transforming event that he was talking about which uh, he found out in a progressive manner or in a gradual manner it is actually the singularity then the singularity is how the what is the singularity doing all these things so you can say that two three four one five means first you talk about he uh, his uh, try attempts to understand the meaning and purpose of the changes then he became aware of a transforming event then he found uh, that it was a then then he is sta stating that this was a gradual awareness it is not a uh, sudden awareness then he did not uh, un uh, remember when he first became aware of the singularity and then what the singularity is doing it is transforming the every institution and aspect of human life so you may say that 23415 will be a, a good uh, sequence but here you understand that there is no option which says which gives 23415 as an answer so you have to rework your strategy so 234 anyway this is not going to change so where to put one and five is obviously the last sentence because it talks about the uh, how the singularity is changing or uh, transforming the institutions and aspects of human life so uh, there is no doubt about five there is no doubt to a doubt about one uh, two three and four now uh, where to put one so uh, the uh, a probable place would have been after four but since there is no option like that then maybe you can say that this should be the first sentence because it is introducing the subject so the subject the whole passage is talking uh, talking about the singularity which is changing many things in the universe and how it is changing the things and then you can uh, say that uh, a first as a sentence uh, introductory sentence you can say that he was not aware of uh, when or he was uh, he could not remember when he first became aware of the singularity then he uh, can talk about the process that means all through his uh, uh, life in computers and related technologies he has been trying to understand the meaning and purpose of the changes then gradually he became aware of some kind of transforming event and it was not a, a sudden awareness he became aware of it gradually then how this particular singularity which he introduced which is the reason for the transforming event how it is doing the transformation so the uh, sentences sequences could be one two three four five since we don't have any two three four one five option the uh, correct answer or the only answer available is one two three four five option c will be your answer right now go to the fourth one so fourth one again it is uh, just by reading the uh question here you can see that uh, the author of the above paragraph is trying to conclude something by citing different pieces of evidence what could the, the, the author trying to prove so the what is the conclusion that the author is uh, trying to uh, prove this is the question so once you have this uh, awareness that you have to find a conclusion you have to read the passage with that angle in mind so you have to read uh, all the uh, facts in the passage minutely then find out which could be a conclusion and again here you have to remember a conclusion is always something that is supported by the facts in the passage so a logical reasoning says that or a, a, an assumption or a conclusion should always be supported by the facts given to you so with that awareness in mind please read the passage i'll give you some time
so by reading the passage uh, you would get the understanding that this passage is talking about the way technology is changing the way organizations are working so uh, previously when uh, Harvard, uh, the what, uh, what was stated in the first sentence, uh, 377 years of existence of the university, uh, the how many people are enrolled for the courses, more people than those uh, that are enrolled in one year uh, in their online courses. So it is the how technology is able to leverage the operations or it make uh, strengthens the operations of the university in uh, uh, it's uh, in the way it is working and in the same spirit uh, what are saying the webmd network again the same thing all doctors working in the united states means webmd is a website so people more people are consulting through the webmd network than people the actual or physical consultation is taking place like this many things are stated where technology is changing the way uh, the institutions are working so this could be uh, 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 an understanding that you can get from the passage. But the problem comes uh, here, the last two sentences. Not the last two, not the last two sentences, the last sentence. The consulting firm Accenture has 750 hospital nurses on its staff while Deloitte founded as an audit practice now has 200,000 professionals on its full scale corporate university. So the last two sentences are not uh, actually matching with the uh, idea that is there in the previous sentences. All the other sentences were talking about uh, technology changing the way organizations are uh, operating. But the last two sentences uh, are talking about how Accenture being a consulting firm, how it is running hospitals and then uh, Deloitte uh, an audit practice, how it is running a university. So here we are not talking about uh, technology. So these two uh, facts also have to be borne in your mind when you uh, go for a conclusion. Now going to the options. Uh, option A, what old firm, firms can do to survive. So it is talking about what are the things old firms are doing uh, for their survival. Again, uh, the uh, regarding old firms, we are talking about old firms in the uh, Harvard and other kind of things. But we are also talking about new, new firms here, Accenture, Delaware, they are not old firms. And this is uh, not about the passage is not mentioning about the survival anywhere in the passage. So uh, and the main thing is old firms. So old firms, we are not talking only about old firms in, all through the passage. So as a result of this, this will not be a good conclusion. Option B, how professionals are getting replaced by technology. Uh, you might think that this is a, a good conclusion, but uh, see uh, the last part of the passage. Uh, yeah, the, the here it is, we are not talking about technology doing anything. It is a uh, consulting firm running a hospital and uh, uh, audit practice running a university. So this could not be a good answer. And even in the previous ones, we are not yet talking about professionals getting replaced. It is about technology changing the way the uh, organizations are working whether the people are getting replaced with the help of technology that's not evident in the passage so you cannot uh, consider it as a good conclusion third one how organ new organizational forms are emerging yes this could be a good answer because it is uh, talking about the entire passage because uh, the first uh, a few facts are talking about how technology is changing the way organizations are working next uh, the last uh, sentence is talking about uh, organizations uh, doing uh, things which are not in their core area like uh, Accenture being a consulting firm running hospitals Delayed audit practice running a university. So they are going into different areas. So this is why organizational new forms of organizations are emerging. So this could be a good answer. Option D, how old firms are dying. We are not talking about the uh, firms dying anywhere in the passage. Uh, the passage does not mention that because of the advent of technology, the um, firms are going into extinction. So this is not a good answer. Option E, how automation is taking away jobs traditionally done by humans. Again, the same thing uh, as option B. We do not know whether the technology is taking away the jobs done by human beings because the passage is not discussing that aspect. So this is not a good conclusion. Always remember that conclusion should be supported by the facts provided to you. So option C is the only uh, good conclusion and this is what the author is trying to prove. So C will be your answer. All right, the exam will begin uh, from 2 p.m. on January 8th is incorrect. The exam will begin at 2 p.m. on January 8th will be the correct sentence. Second one, while entering into the college building, you saw the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. So here again, when uh, you uh, use the verb enter, you need not use the 
phrase into because enter means going into enter itself means going into somewhere so enter into is not required it is superfluous so what you have to state is while entering the college building the phrase into is uh, superfluous or not required here so this is the mistake here so while entering the college building is the correct sentence so this again is incorrect third one the government has entered into a discussion with the local bodies for keeping the streets clean this is a correct sentence there is no uh, grammatical error or construction error in this particular sentence so this is a option that we need so you look at options with a three so you have a uh, D and E but then you have to go on doing it option 4 I will start my world tour from Sri Lanka again nothing wrong here this is a correct sentence so 3 and 4 are correct sentences look at options with 3 and 4 so A and D are probable answers 5 Amida Bachchan is married with Jaya Bachchan again wrong Amida Bachchan is married to Jaya Bachchan so this uh, with is wrong so option 5 is incorrect Sixth one, I have been working on this project for three weeks. Again, a correct uh, uh, a statement. Nothing incorrect here. So three, four, and six are correct statements. Option D will be your answer. Now go to question number six. So uh, here again, para jumble. So uh, go through the statements. Understand what the passage is talking about. Then find out the correct sequence or try to make sense of the correct sequence Basically, the passages uh, or the sentences are talking about how the knowledge about life developed uh, among the physicists, chemists, biologists, all the thinkers, how it developed over the centuries uh, by examining complex matters. And uh, here in this case, uh, he wants to quote, the author wants to quote one particular year, 1953, because something uh, revolutionary happened in that year. What had happened? Statement three. It is uh, Miller and Ure carried out some famous experiment about the primordial universal stove so pi primordial the meaning of the word primordial is something that exists from the beginning something that is uh, existing in the universe from the beginning is called primordial so primordial universal soap means a combination of factors uh, that have been existing in the universe from the beginning so that is a primordial universal soap whose foundations had already been expounded by the russian chemist expounded means propounded or something that is theorized by the russian chemist alexandra Operin. So this uh, uh, is uh, he is talking about some kind of combination of elements that have been existing in the universe in the beginning and this theory was already uh, given by a Russian chemist. Then option statement 4 is talking about what is the theory. It is the mixture of high gases hydrogen uh, which uh, and an electric which has the source of energy complex molecules were produced including amino acids. So this is talking about how the uh, about the origin of the universe. So the uh, primordial universal soap uh, that is stated in uh, statement 3 it is this one means the mixture of five gases methane ammonia carbon dioxide hydrogen water vapor and an electric discharge which formed the complex molecules so molecules were the things that were formed in the universe in the beginning and how these things were formed so this is the theory so here you can see that first it is talking about uh, the knowledge that has been developed by the thinkers which took a long time and out of which one particular year was very important because in that particular year uh, they, uh, an experiment was conducted regarding a, a combination of factors that uh, were already theorized by a Russian chemist and this combination of factors uh, were uh, what was the combination what was the uh, uh, advantage or importance of that combination it is uh, that combination which resulted in the creation of which resulted in the creation of uh, the uh, uh, molecules. So uh, you can see that this is already in a correct sequence. One, two, three, four is the correct sequence. Means uh, how the uh, knowledge is developed, uh, has developed over the years. 
and how, how out of this uh, historical development of the knowledge one particular year is important why that year is important what happened in that year so one two three four is the correct option option a will be your answer question number seven uh, it is again a conclusion that you have to find uh, read the last part which of the following will be the most meaningful conclusion of the passage so again a conclusion so read the passage and then we will think about the conclusion The passage is talking about the uh, current generation uh, who are very much technologically skilled. Prowess means skill, means the second line there is a word called prowess, it means skill here. So uh, we are all uh, technologically very efficient and we are uh, indulging ourselves in hackathons, a lot of a hackathons, invasion and other forms of technological creativity and we are helping our families to become technologically competent because they don't know about technology as much as we do. As a result of which, we help them to uh, set up FaceTime for those in and face-to-face time. Means uh, the uh, other family members, they need real relationships or they are uh, more interested in face-to-face -face time, but instead we uh, give them the technology called FaceTime. And we also tell them that it is okay that digital relations are uh, going to be uh, real relations. But we are not sure whether these are, this is correct or not. So even though we are not convinced that digital uh, relationships are uh, real relationships or not, we try to convince others saying that uh, digital relationships are actually relationships because we are technologically very efficient and we are able to survive in a digital world uh, much more uh, in a much more efficient manner than the other uh, family members these are the things that are given in the passage now which will be a meaningful conclusion so option a is talking about technology destroying families and community this is called an excessive conclusion or a far-fetched conclusion the passage is not saying anywhere that technology is destroying families so this will not be a good conclusion then option b change is only constant in vibes so people must embrace technology so it says that uh, change is a continuous thing the, it is the uh, only thing that does not change is change itself so there is no escape from technology so you might think that this is a good conclusion but uh, the passage is not really talking about uh, whether people should embrace technology or not the passage is talking about the current generation who are very good in technology and we are advising others on how to adapt to technology but we ourselves are not convinced about the longevity or the uh, genuine uh, whether it can replace the genuine relationships uh, the, that fact we are not really convinced so that message is not conveyed here so this in, will not be a good conclusion option c technology usage has changed social relationships uh, for this generation yes it seems a good answer because uh, our concept of social relationships are different from the concepts of our family members regarding the relationships that is why it says this uh, uh, the people or family members they are denied face to face time and we tell them that it is okay digital relations are real relation relationships so this is a good answer technology usage has changed social relationships for the generation option d the pandemic has increased the social dependence on technology see our all the conclusions should be based on the facts in the passage so we in the passage we have never discussed anything about the pandemic part so this is not a, a good conclusion we don't need to uh, uh, look at conclusions which are talking about things that are not stated in the passage then technological advancement helps society derive meaning from work so whether the technological uh, developments have uh, helped society to get more out of work and all that's not the uh, concept that is discussed in the passage in fact the anything regarding work is not at all discussed in the passage so again an irrelevant or some something that is out of context so d and e are uh, uh, things that are not discussed in the passage you can completely ignore them uh, a is again destroying families a far-fetched uh, conclusion not correct out of b and c uh, c is the best conclusion to this particular question 
now the eighth question is about a, a filling up the bank blank so it is uh, just talking about something uh, you read the paragraph try to make sense of it then which is the best option that will insert the correct words or proper words so that the passage becomes meaningful that is your task So the uh, whatever from uh, whatever uh, is given in the passage, uh, what we can understand is that, that if the passage is drawing a comparison between oil painting and appearance and capital to social uh, uh, developments or social reality or social relations or whatever we don't know. So it says that oil paint what uh, what oil painting did to appearance the same thing capital has done to social whatever. So this is the meaning and then it reduced everything everything to the uh, dash of objects means it uh, reduced whatever things we are discussing the first blank it reduced everything to the to the level of objects so it is because how i can say it is a level of objects because everything became dash because everything became a commodity so all the things that are in the social we are discussed we'll see about some social uh, things here and everything became objects because everything became a commodity so everything became uh, commercially viable or something that is saleable or something that is uh, having a price tag on it so that is why it became a commodity and all reality was mechanically dashed by its materiality materiality means something that is uh, available for sale so all reality was mechanically uh, converted by or assessed or by evaluated or whatever by its materiality so basically the passage is talking about how capital has changed the social uh, relationships or values or uh, social hmm, uh, constructs or whatever it reduced everything to the level of objects because everything became a commercial objects uh, uh, everything became commercial and everything became a commodity and everything uh, and all reality was mechanically evaluated or judged or um, understood by its materiality whatever so now from uh, this uh, by reading the entire thing you can see the reality that is stated here all reality was mechanically dashed by its materiality so we are talking about social dash here so then that is again referred to here so it could the reality could be the uh, correct word here social reality means uh, whatever uh, uh, capital did to social reality that is why all reality was mechanically converted or assessed or evaluated by its uh, uh, commercial value that is the meaning so so reality could be a, a likely word social then we look at the options uh, social justice uh, not correct because social justice means equality for all the people in the society is called social justice where all the people are treated equally and fairly it is called social justice we are not talking about social justice uh, anywhere in the passage so this cannot be a good answer uh, so that is why the, in the first instance itself you can uh, eliminate this option because the word justice does not suit correctly with the sense of the passage now go to reality yes we have already have an, uh, an indication or a clue here that reality could be an answer then uh, so it reduced everything to the randomness of ob objects that also is a proper randomness means without any particular uh, speciality or uniqueness everything became uh, like objects randomly uh, so all reality became uh, random objects and everything became uh, saleable so saleable because everything became a commodity that also seems correct then uh, all reality was mechanically located by its materiality it means all the reality was understood or evaluated or judged by its commercial value so this seems a good answer reality randomness saleable located so all are uh, suiting well with the meaning of the passage so this could be your answer option c setup social setup correct it reduced everything to the understanding of objects understanding oh no we are not talking about the understanding of objects we are saying that all social uh, setups everything was reduced to the level of objects so understanding is not the proper word here so you can 
eliminate it and one more reason is useless everything became useless so useless is not the correct word here everything became uh, articles of value but there is uh, there is no real meaning with just the saleable commercial commodity that is the meaning so that is why c is not the correct one d social relations uh, okay it reduced everything to the equality of objects no that's not correct because it reduced everything uh, to the equality of objects means uh, that is not the proper word to be used uh, it reduced everything uh, to the level of objects should be the word equality is not the proper english word to be used in such context so equality does not uh, give out that particular meaning that is intended in the passage everything became exchangeable that is okay uh, all reality was mechanically measured by its materiality that also is okay but because of the word equality this is not properly gelling with the uh, actual meaning that the author wants to convey here so d will not be an answer so you can ignore this one uh, this one is also ignored <laughs> you have a probable answer here understanding useless this is also ignored so now uh, oil painting due to appearance what capital due to social construction it reduced everything to minuteness minuteness is not correct minuteness means uh, means the uh, precision so that is uh, being described here but we are not talking about the precision of objects or the minuteness of objects uh, and here social construction also is not correct it should be social structure or social construct construct or structure means the social setup but construction is not the correct word here minuteness is also not the correct word everything became commercial that is correct everything all materiality was evaluated by its materiality oh, again correct but these two words are not correct as a result of which this also is not a good answer so the only correct answer is option b reality randomness saleable located so option b will be the answer here <laughs> now the ninth one so this is a critical reasoning question so go through the uh, 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 text and then see the question. The question is, uh, which of the above statements are true, which of the following must also be true. That means uh, you have to find a statement that automatically follows from the facts given to you. So the, what are the facts given? The leave policy is bound to be unpopular either with the management or among the workers. That means there cannot be a situation where the leave policy is uh, popular with both management as well as workers. If management is happy, workers will not be happy. If workers are happy, management will not be happy. So either or. So this is uh, the first uh, fact that you need to understand. That means the, there cannot be a situation where the leave policy will be popular with both the people. <laughs> then if it is unpopular with the management, it should be modified. It should be, and if it is unpopular with the workers, it should be changed. This is the uh, meaning. So uh, if the policy is unpopular with workers, we have to change it. If it is unpopular with the management, it should be modified. So by reading all the three statements together, what can we understand? The understanding is that uh, leave policy can be accepted only if it is popular with the workers if it is popular with the management what will happen by the first statement it will not be uh, if it is popular with the management it will not be popular with the workers so if it is not popular with the workers it cannot be adopted it has to be changed so we can say that uh, the leave policy that is uh, to be uh, accepted by this particular company has to be popular with the workers. That is the only situation where the leave policy can be accepted because uh, if it is not popular with the workers, what will happen? It has to be changed. So if it is not popular with the management or, or if it is popular with the management, obviously it will be unpopular with the workers. Automatically it will have to be changed. And if it is uh, popular with the workers then it can be accepted so the only situation where a leave policy can be accepted will be when it is popular with the workers once you have this understanding you have to find out a statement that is automatically following from the 
statement. We should attempt option A, we should attempt to popularize the, the leave policy among either the management or the workers. So, if you uh, take into consideration all the these three statements, uh, what is the essence? We have to find a leave policy that is popular with the workers only, then we can accept it. Because as long as a leave policy is not popular with the workers, it can never be accepted. So, what is the thing that we have to do? We have to attempt a, uh, to popularize the policy among the workers not the management so option a will not be a good answer then option b if the leave policy is popular among workers then we should adopt a new policy again wrong because if leave policy is popular among the workers as per this uh, this part here we should adopt it it means if, if it is unpopular with workers a new policy should be done means uh, on the conversely if it is popular with the workers we have to accept it or adopt it so uh, this is wrong option b is also wrong option c we should modify the leave policy only if this will not reduce its popularity among the workers so this statement means that uh, will not reduce its popularity means uh, any policy that is already popular with the workers uh, what will happen we can accept it but if it is popular with the workers it will not be popular with the management then we will modify it so it says that we should modify the leave policy only if this will not reduce its popularity among the workers that can, situation cannot arise because if it is uh, this, this will not reduce its this phrase this will not reduce its popularity means already this policy is popular among the workers so that is a policy that can be accepted so if we change it what will happen when it is popular with the workers, it will not be popular with the management. So, when it is not popular with the management, what we should do? We should change it. So, when once we change it, what will happen? It will become popular with the management. If it becomes popular with the management, automatically it will reduce its popularity among the workers. So, this uh, only if condition can never be true because uh, the moment you modify a policy that is already popular with the uh, workers, it means that it becomes unpopular with the workers because any modification in a policy that is popular with the workers means it is unpopular with the management that is why we are modifying and when it be, when it you modify it it becomes popular with the management when it becomes popular it automatically becomes unpopular among the workers so this uh, uh, changing the policy without reducing its popularity among the workers is not a situation that is going to arise so this c will not be a uh, statement that follows from the whatever is given here so a is wrong b is wrong c is also wrong then comes d if the leave policy is popular with the management then we should adopt a, a new policy that means if the leave policy is popular with the management means it is not popular with the workers so if it is not anything that is not popular with the workers what it says we should adopt a new policy so this is a this automatically follows from whatever is given means any leave policy that is popular with the management will automatically be unpopular with the workers any leave policy that is unpopular with the workers it should be it should not be adopted a new policy has to be adopted so this is a correct statement it automatically follows from the facts then e we should modify the leave policy if the modification will not reduce its popularity uh, with the management again the same thing any uh, policy that is already popular with the management there is no need to modify it as per the passage the modification of the policy will take place only if it is unpopular with the management so if a leave policy is already popular with the management there is no need to modify it if it is popular with the management it is not popular with the workers so this policy cannot be accepted so there is no point in modifying it so this is also not a correct statement so option d is the correct statement that follows from whatever facts are given in the paragraph so d will be your answer now question number 10 so this is again a critical reasoning question you have to apply your logic by after understanding the facts given in the paragraph so uh, it is asking you to find a, a statement that weakens the conclusion drawn in the passage so first understand the passage and then we will talk about the conclusion then we can spot a statement that will weaken the conclusion
so to reduce the passage into a simple idea it says that uh, whenever uh, people are facing any kind of problems they always turn to the internet to find solutions which is very obvious we all do that and it, the passage says that in the case of uh, depression also or in the case of any kind of medical uh, issues or any kind of health issues, the same thing is happening, especially if depression related information and treatment, people turn to the internet. And then it talks about a particular country why, where a recent a report has come up and uh, it says that elections are a period or a specific period during which people are experiencing a lot of depression uh, during and just after the elections in that particular country. and. Uh, the big, how it says that because the word depression is being searched by many people uh, in Google or any kind of online searches, the word depression is feature, being featured uh, during the or during or just after the election in that country. So uh, from whatever is stated in the previous two sentences, the conclusion arrived at is that uh, uh, depression or elections are a time when uh, people in country Y are facing a lot of uh, depression. This is the conclusion made in the passage so simply put you can say that in country wide people uh, are experiencing a lot of depression uh, during the during or just after the election that is conducted in that country this is the conclusion now you have to find a statement that weakens this conclusion or anything that says that people are not experiencing too much de depression during or after elections in country wide will be your answer option a Per day sales of antidepressant drugs have been constant across the years in country Y. So it means that there is no change in the uh, uh, number of antidepressant drugs that have been sold in the country over the last so many years. Means over the last so many years, at least once or twice elections might have been conducted in country Y. If the conclusion in the passage is true, there has to be an increase in the per day and sales of antidepressant drugs during the period of election because this is what the passage is saying because what why people are t turning to the internet because they want to have depression related information and treatment so when they go to the internet they will find uh, depression related information they will also uh, find the treatment methods available so obviously they will be getting some medications and they will be purchasing those medications whereas option a says that there is no increase in the sales of anti-depression medications uh, for so many years in that particular country it means yeah, across, yeah, at, at least once or twice the elections might have been conducted in this country why for the past so many years so if what the conclusion says is correct then some increase in the per day sale of antidepressant drugs should have happened so which is not happening means uh, the depression is uh, not there or there is no spike in depression uh, during the election uh, so this is something that is weakening the conclusion option b election is a festival in some countries people happily choose their leader by casting votes see the key here is some countries see our discussion is only about country y whereas the passage is talking about or the option is talking about election being a happy occasion in many countries it could be true but our report or our survey or our conclusion is only about country y not about the other countries so this is why this is not a good answer because it is irrelevant it is not talking about the conclusion so it is not talking about country Y. so it cannot be treated as an option that weakens the conclusion option c depression related advertisements are on the rise during and just after the election in country Y. so what it means when more ads are placed in uh, all media uh, just after the election regarding depression related things then it means that more demand for depression related uh, drugs or treatments are there during this period so it is basically saying that there is an increase in depression related uh, incidences during the election so this is basically supporting the conclusion our conclusion is that there is an increase in depression related illnesses uh, during election this option is also saying that because there is two there are too many advertisements for uh, depression related issues during election it means that there is a spike or an increase in depression so this is supporting the conclusion not weakening it so not your answer this again is not your answer then d a survey in country by shows an election can cause a significant increase in the average level of depression so that is basically stating whatever conclusion we are already saying means election is causing an increase in the significant average level of depression so this is not weakening the conclusion it is actually uh, supporting it many people do not use the internet country x see our discussion is only about country y 
what happens in country x is not at all relevant or important to us in either supporting or weakening our conclusion so not your answer so the very clear answer for our question is option a this is the only option that is weakening our conclusion so option a will be your answer so that's all for now we have discussed around 10 questions uh, yeah i know that the video is too long but uh, try to watch it patiently because uh, i have tried to include a lot of techniques or strategies that you should use in your uh, non-rc related verbal ability questions that are going to come up for your uh, cat exam uh, not cat xat exam thank you and uh, please try to share and subscribe the video and the channel if you like the content thank you very much